What's up guys, it's Tana. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Either you've gotten through the incredibly depressing podcasts of videos I've been uploading and you finally made it to this point or you're newly clicking on this video and can completely disregard the sentence I just said. But I'm excited about today's video because it ignites me just getting back to uploading fun content that is just made to like make you guys laugh or distract you from your day or stuff I have fun making and... My editor moved in and has a black lab. <laughs> Me too, girl. <laughs> Rain! How has editing my videos been? Don't. Hours. We made it here, though. This we made cool. it here. The bus video. Oh, yeah! yeah! And after today's video, I will have so many more fun videos coming for you guys on both channels that I've been working so hard on, including story times, including vlogs of all kinds of stuff from my life, and a bunch of new shit. Today, I'm about to try to do my own nails because of quarantine. Oh! And regarding the contents of today's video, it's a lot to try to explain in an intro and I'm trying to keep this short and it's totally not gonna be in this video. It's probably gonna be like 30 minutes, I'm sorry. For the past six months off camera, the person I've probably been spending the most of my time with is Mod Sun. I really started to get close with him again. Like when I wanted to die. <laughs> when things were really shitty and I was finally starting to make the decisions to like wanna make my life better. And over knowing Mod Sun for the past three years, I've watched Mod completely transform his life and get so much better in so many ways. We've both really known each other through like the darkest worst times and now what is like our best times and it's awesome but he was someone who was consistently picking me up when I was down and also just making me understand what it means to live life and to be happy and to want things like sobriety and clarity and peace and joy and family and friends and just everything and he's literally been giving me so much advice and mentoring is such a cheesy word but that's really what it's been and if you need a mentor on how to be happy Monson is probably the happiest person on this planet so <laughs> but all of that obviously came about with us like working together on all of my music so it's cool to not only have someone I can like pour my heart out to and make a song about it and have me turn my pain into art but also just like come to as a friend and like someone who I really trust because like I said he's seen me at like my worst and like my best and vice versa and we've really just gone through like fucking hell and back together and through a lot of fucking shit so it's awesome now to not only call him one of my best friends, but like his whole squad, his whole family has become like my family. And they're all such like happy, awesome people who were really there for me in like a dark time when I was turning my life around. And like all of them saw me at like my absolute worst and i'm just so grateful to have had such good people around when i really realized what it meant to surround yourself with people who make you like want to live and want to be better you know and like i've said in previous videos i wasn't really filming that time in my life obviously because i didn't want that version of me to be on camera but i am excited to finally have a filmed a video with mod sun and let you into what our day today <laughs> life is like <laughs> this video isn't so much a day-to-day -day normal thing i went out to visit mod on tour and work on music and just like write and hang out when he was on tour and then jump cut a week or so coronavirus happened and obviously that meant mod postponing his tour and having to go back to la and this was during the time where things at airports were starting to get really crazy and really scary even flying there was kind of scary so it was like it wasn't the smartest thing for us to fly home and like my immune system really sucks and like i had issues with my respiratory system earlier in the year and now i'm really taking that and my health very seriously so it's like i don't want to risk it so we ended up driving across the country from chicago illinois to los angeles Angeles on a tour bus for like days and days and days and days as we were finding out everything that was going on in the world and it was definitely a very interesting and weird experience something I will probably never do again I can officially say I've driven across the country and I documented it and it is not pretty <laughs> in the slightest but it still was fun i have so much upcoming music and exciting things i've been working so hard on all of that kind of stuff and i'm just happy to be letting you guys back into my life again especially when it is just so much better so i love you and now with all of that nice amazing it being said let me discredit it by telling you this video is sponsored by dollar shave club <laughs> but dollar shave club is actually one of my favorite services and something i've paid for long before they ever wanted to work with me i literally think they make the best razors on earth and i also think it is like the best deal in the world and them just like showing up to your house with all the products you need to be like clean and hygienic is so incredible so when they wanted to work with me on a video i was like absolutely i would love to stop paying for your product and have you sign that to me for free <laughs> so this month dollar shave club sent me their ultimate shave starter set which comes with the executive blade razor which i am obsessed with i am an advocate for a bald pussy you know hygiene might not be my forte but one thing i do take seriously is being a bald little bitch <laughs> and their razors get the closest shave and they send you a bunch of products like everything you'll need to shave like post shave cream shave butter post shave dew my favorite is the dr carver's prep scrub i'm obsessed with it 
It's like the best exfoliating scrub for before you shave. So if you guys are trying to be bald in your quarantining, check this shit out. With all of that being said, I think what makes Dollar Shave Club so justifiable is that you are getting all of this for the same price we would be getting like regular razors at the store, but delivered to your front door. That rhymes, should they hire me? Dollar Shave Club actually gave me literally the deal of a lifetime for you guys today. If you go to dollarshaveclub.com slash Tana, you can get all of this for $5. This razor is nicer than any razor in a Target, Walgreens, Rite Aid, Go Lord. Also, like, they're so nice, and that is such a good deal. No cap. Hated that. Check out Dollar Shave Club. Tell them I sent you. It rocks, and you won't be disappointed. So, thank you to Dollar Shave Club for keeping my lights on this month. Now, enjoy me on the struggle bus. So Later. Much. I remember waiting for the sun to rise. I remember where we went wrong that night. I remember six months ago. <laughs> he came on tour. With Mod Sun to hang out for a few shows. Mod Sun is a famous artist, musician, rapper. We've been in some relationships together. <laughs> now we chill. <laughs> some would say we're close. So he left to go on tour and I decided to come visit him like probably like a week ago, realistically. And I was gonna stay for like five or six shows because he's like an entertainer. Like it's like he's like a musician. It's like fun. I've just been out here chilling and then I was gonna fly home in like two days before my eye swells up again. <laughs> but my health is it's on the incline guys. Thanks for being concerned. Upon me deciding to leave coronavirus got a little spunky. All of the flights out of all of the cities that I was trying to fly out of were all sold out completely and then things started happening like bans in different cities from like mayors like to where like you can't do shows and stuff. So Maude is having to postpone the last half of his tour whatever. Not whatever but like <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> it's actually a really sad thing. No, it, it actually really sucks, but some of us on this tour decided it wouldn't be best to fly home. The other 10 people just flew in different directions everywhere risking coronavirus, but it is really scary out there in the world right now. Grocery stores are like empty. It's a lot. And so we decided to take the bus home from the last city that Maude played a show at, which was Chicago. Like we just had to be in Chicago when the tour got canceled. Crazy, cause like I thought like from Chicago to LA. <laughs> Chicago to LA, in my head I was just like, oh, that's like a day or so drive. <laughs> I didn't realize that like the person driving us to sleep. You also toured the world like hundreds of times. Like how do you I know, but no it was class? all last minute. It was so last minute. And I was like, oh, yeah, we'll just be back. Now I'm like, damn, we're not getting back to like a week from April. now. <laughs> and like, even if we wanted to fly home, like it's not smart. Like the smartest thing to do is probably take this bus and not risk coronavirus. My immune system is weak. It is on the healing. So I decided to take this tour bus home for the next five days with Mod Sun and his gang, which is inadvertently my gang. And Yayan, my videographer, editor, British fucking extraordinaire. So I decided I'm gonna document what that looks like because it is not gonna be fucking pretty. It is not, like, look at me. This is the start of this video. I look like this. It is only gonna get, there's like massive stains from Waffle House on my clothes. <laughs> it's gross. And it's just gonna get worse. Stop, don't stop. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see what Mod's fellow artists, Lost in Vegas and Jimmy Bennett, who are also riding this bus with us, have to say about that. They're not missing already. I haven't heard from them all day. They're if sleeping. they're not missing they're already, sleeping. we're in Robert, Missouri. Like, where would they be? <gasps> oh, yes! Holy shit! It's 4 a.m. Yes! There's no concept of time when this shit is happening to you though either. Like what, I'm gonna like wake up early and seize the day in Robert, Missouri? No offense to Missourians. I'm just saying like, I, I slept all day. I don't know what this video is gonna be. It's just gonna be a journey. So let's go back to LA. No vibe is curated without a gourmet meal first. So I'm definitely gonna take you guys back to the kitchen at some point in this video over the next four days. But right now, I'm gonna surprise Mod with a gourmet meal. Everyone else is asleep. There's someone asleep right there. Just be really quiet. Where the f are my hot Cheetos? I think I've been came up on. Someone hit a lick on me. <laughs> Something I would do. Two days into this, you're gonna steal from me? 
I need drama. <laughs> that just goes to show you though, even when you think you're with people you can trust, you know, get going or get got, you know? Like, early bird gets the... <laughs> I wanna go home. I cooked you this. Oh no, what is this, nachos? <laughs> like Emma Chamberlain's drinking green juice in LA right now, thriving. Three hours later. I wanna go home. <laughs> I wanna go home. <laughs> No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I swear to God, you're, we're, we're in this together. No, Peace, we love you. Guys, this is Peace, our bus driver. He's in the same boat as us right now. Boy, this too. So bleeding. I'm stuck. Peace just said this is like Disneyland to him. Yeah, this is a pleasure trip. I really enjoyed myself. Peace just said he's tickled pink. Yeah, pretty much. Every time I show up the camera, he says some funny ass shit about how mad he is to fuck. I remember how we felt late October. I'll always keep you warm. So I told her. All right, guys, it's the next day. Wait. Hi, folks. How you doing out there? We're in Oklahoma. Oklahoma. We could have took the horse over here. <laughs> <laughs> could have took the horse in the buggy. Get a Where's Austin? In. Austin's apparently flirting with the girl at the front desk because Jimmy and him want to use the jacuzzi. <laughs> <laughs> I need to. The only person eating inside the diner just turned around through the window and looks at me and goes, <laughs> I mean, I am carrying you around. <laughs> what is this merch? Wait, the diner has merch. That's fandroid.co backslash Tana to get some shit. I remember when we went wrong that night. I remember when to. Shirley Temple? Yeah. Hey, where the f you at? Say less to me. Where are you? Wait, where are you? No, we're here. Listen for the call. Oh, oh! <laughs> so, since we're in Oklahoma eating at a Lucille's Roadhouse, yes. I need content. I've already been drunk once today. <laughs> <laughs> Like, okay, let me look. And he was like, Shelly, I think you have Tam Oja at your table. <laughs> yeah, I love you. I love you guys. Hi, Tana. Yeah, we love, we love Oklahoma. Oh, Spanish. Dude, oh my god. Get her, we, 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 we,
We're no longer fighting. Hair look like Shakira. <laughs> Hi, Jocelyn. We're at Walmart right now, chilling. We love you. Mwah. I love you so much. You're so sweet. <laughs> You're crying in Walmart over me right now. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> you. Crazy. <laughs> oh my god. You're so sweet. What's your name? <laughs> hey, slime. <laughs> Self checkout. Really humble around here in Oklahoma. Monson actually likes to just uh, walk around and look at his phone. Oh, say less to me. Say less to me. Don't have to talk to me. <laughs> what is that? A bubble gun. <laughs> I just want to go home. Okay, guys, now that we're back in the bus, we're getting right into it. Let it's time to start word. baking. It's time. Okay, guys, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm completely, completely robbing this recipe from Miss Ashley Schwann, my best friend, co star, mentor, overall, just better than me. I was trying to think of something I could bake on the bus that's like no bake because we don't have an oven, and I'm just like so f wifey and hospitable. Step one to this normally would be to put 25 Oreos into a food processor, but we were on a budget at Walmart. So I'm actually going to become a food processor. So this is really where you get your anger out in this recipe. Yeah. I'm just picturing my wedding. Just kidding. <laughs> Danielle and I are gonna, are gonna get drunk. drunk. When I started this journey, I was in higher spirits. And I was kinda like, why would you drink on this four day trip? Like, what, it's gonna be so boring. You're just gonna be drunk. And then I got so bored that I need to get drunk in order to feel anything at all. Well, I think like if you're cooking, we really need to make it a thing. Okay, ready, bottoms yeah. up. <laughs> <laughs> There's been a quick intermission from baking to get baked. Step number two. I'm high. <laughs> Definitely not, not high. Step number two is to soften a brick of cream cheese. Yo, I really didn't think like a blunt to the face of three cups of wine would do anything to me. <laughs> Why is the tag still on it? On the boy. <laughs> Now you're gonna walk over to Le Microwave. Now if your cream cheese happens to be too soft, once you mix it up with the Oreo, you can put it in the freezer. Bye. Ooh, it's soft as hell. I think I should refrigerate it, huh? I'll be back. I'm trying to be as sanitary about this as possible. Ashley is rolling in her grave right now though. Things are looking up now. We put the Oreos and cream cheese in the freezer to like chill out. Now you're gonna melt some chocolate. You just wanna get some melting chocolate of your choice. I really like Ghirardelli because it's just nothing but the best. <laughs> yeah, that's right guys. <laughs> so as you can tell three times in I figured out how to make them cute. <laughs> I'm drunk. <laughs> Haters really doubt. Baking on the bus, guys, it really gave me something to live for. It gave me a purpose. I'm gonna throw these in the freezer and I'm gonna get some reaction. <laughs> Tor can't stop me from being an iron chef. It's 3.30 in the morning. Okay. Oh my God. Take some off that. Yo, this is good as hell. Woo! Awesome. Good job, Dan. Oh, Monson. Three, have sex with a model, become a model. And can you give me something, anything in the face? Where? I'm laughing at anything. Woo! Go! I did a thing. Now it's time for my favorite activity on this bus. It requires a lot of cardio, so much working out. Bye. I remember wishing on a fuzzy clover and riding your name. I just kissed the bus for that. <laughs> oh 
All right, guys, my editor's making me film this outro. Die. <laughs> we're home, we're back in LA. I have no, that's why I don't wanna do an outro. Like, I'm insane, there's no sanity left. I don't know where I am, am I gonna get coronavirus? I'm gonna go quarantine in my house and not talk to anyone, but I haven't seen the sky <laughs> in like 48 hours. <laughs> so I'm like really happy to be home. Thank you for coming on this journey with me. Make sure to subscribe. Click that little bell to turn your notifications on. I gotta go. <laughs> I can't hug you. I can't hug you. From here. To your no. own mom. Like maybe even that's a little sketchy too. Yeah. Stay back there. Bye, Stay away from me. Away from me. Okay. I'm never leaving the house again. My no. face. Okay. My okay. face. <laughs> I went through. I went through. With both your hands wrapped around my neck, I walked through.